got the grace. Lies and every other things are falling into place. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. Today we are talking about bra stop and how I got my strapless bra for the girls with the titties that be tiddling. This is a super, super exciting video. So if you have ever wanted a bra and you have a bigger cup size than the standard sizes that are available in stores. So normally in our shops you'll find um, A, B, C, D and sometimes an E cup. Some stores like Woolworths and I think my ladies have like an F cup as well, but you don't have the M, the N, the O, the P cup cups when it comes to bras um, so you usually have to go to like an instant not an instagram boutique like a bra fitting boutique where they'll fit you and then they have a range of um, bras that are made for girls with titties that be tiddling okay but those bras are normally expensive they're usually over a thousand rand for a single bra and that is normal for people like myself with the titties that be tiddling if you have bigger boobs it's expected this is how much we pay for a single bra it's over a thousand rand for a single bra for a bra that actually fits you properly that's not going to be digging in giving you a headache making you uncomfortable you need to go to a bra fitter get fitted and then um, check out their bras and those bras are usually expensive so i actually found one of the places where the bra fitting boutiques get their bras from and it's called bra stop there are tons of other ones it's really not hidden information you can literally just check out any of your favorite like bra fitting boutiques and it's very obvious where they get their bras from so it's not something that's like a hidden secret um so one of the places is bra stop and i actually place my order directly from them um normally with the bra fitting boutiques these businesses that fit people for bras they will import from these companies and then obviously add their profit okay so today i'm just purchasing directly from the source okay so i ordered on the 13th of march and my items were actually delivered a whole month later on the 13th of april the customs clearance with this was a bit tricky it wasn't like the usual smooth thing where fedex sends you the information or anything like that they used i think it's called dsv and it yeah it was a headache it was really a headache to clear these items from customs it it was a headache okay so i ordered on the 13th of march and my items were delivered on the 13th of april the items that i ordered are three bras i got the ilomi smooth strapless bra which is what we're really going to be focusing on for today's video and then i also got the panache sports bra in black really really excited about this as well i'll also try that for you guys and then i also got the bra stop wash bag this is just like a washing bag for when you're washing your bras in the washing machine and then the curvy kate dotty balcony bra okay this one i don't recommend i think it's absolute rubbish absolutely do not recommend it i'm not going to try it on for you guys okay so my total for all the items that i ordered um three bras and the wash bag was 1704.17 now normally when you're ordering from one of these um boutiques it'll cost you 1300 1500 rand for one bra so i got three bras and bra stop was having a sale they have sales regularly i leave their website in the description box for you guys um, i got three bras and a wash bag for 1704.17 my shipping from the uk because it's a uk based company they charge in pounds my shipping from them to south africa was 252.63 so not bad at all so my final total that i spent for everything was 2039.06 that's my shipping the three bras and the wash bag okay then i paid customs customs is where i really saw that i paid a lot for this order customs is 1478.20 bringing my entire total to 2039.06 plus 1478.20 and my total then becomes 3517.26 for three bras and a wash bag so essentially i paid 1000 something per bra which is like back to how much i would pay around around let me not say it's exactly around how much i would pay for a bra from a bra fitting boutique having titties that be tiddling is expensive let me just put it out there like it's it's not cheap to have larger breasts so bra stop was founded in like 2003 and they have d till k cup now k cup is not the end of bras you have m n o p bra cups you know um so this is not like the largest range but it's definitely larger than anything that we have currently in south africa so guys let's get started let me show you guys the lovely bras so this is the packaging dsv that packaging is honestly boring there's nothing special about um the packaging from a bra stop or at least the packaging that i got 
So let's start off with the Queen, the Elomi Smooth Strapless Bra. I got this in a 38 double F. Um, honestly, I'm a 36 G cup. That's what I've measured myself to be. I need to go for a professional bra fitting. I know there is one in Gauteng that you guys have asked me to go to. Definitely want to go there and have a bra fitting session and record it for you guys. So you actually know what happens in a bra fitting session. Um, but yeah, I got this in a 38 F. If, um, and this was 399.99 this was on sale so this is a really really good price for a strapless bra of somebody of my cup size this is from the brand Ilomi so this is what it looks like it is absolutely beautiful I got it in the color black you guys know I love black so you can see the information here right over there really nice thick straps and they just have um, like four hooks there, which is really, really good. And it has the Ilomi tag. Oh gosh, white doesn't pick up well, but it has the Ilomi tag over here. Okay, so super exciting, 38 FF. Let me go put this on for you guys and give you guys my review. All right guys, so this is the strapless bra. It is really, really good. My only issue is I think I should have gotten a 34. Um, for this if I got a 34 I think it would be really good please excuse this this is just the mic so you guys can clearly hear me um, yeah if I'd gotten a 34 I think it would be better because this band is slipping so this part over here it is slipping and if I had gotten a 34 it would stay in place the cup coverage I think I could go one size up I don't know what you guys think but it definitely definitely works so if you have spaghetti strap like tops and dresses this is really really good for that um, because then you can wear your dresses without having those bra lines showing so this is really really exciting for anyone who needs uh, a strapless bra who has a bigger cup size let's move on over to the sports bra next up is something that i think would be life-changing if south african stores actually had this this is the panache sports bra in black and i got this in a 36 g cup which is my actual size this retails for 884.19 when it was on sale i have no idea how much it is at the normal price okay so this is from the brand called panache this is a sports bra for the girls with the titties that be tiddling it is amazing i have used this bra um, previously so this is what it looks like it's it's like a mold um, and it has an underwire over here and it just says panache over there for me growing up and playing sports playing netball ring ball all that kind of stuff bras were always an issue like it was such an issue i would wear my underwire bra and then i'd wear sports bra on top just to get enough support especially for like sports like netball where you're running around you can't have your titties flying everywhere you want them to sit in one place you know um so i would have to double up on my bras and the girls with the smaller busts they would never have to do that so the traditional sports bras that you find at like mr price and whatever utter rubbish they've never worked for somebody of my cup size even though i'd be strategic and say okay i'm a size 38 let me get a 34 my titties would still be so uncomfortable and it's something that i really dreaded in terms of going to the gym even as an adult until i discovered these type of bras so these are sports bras that are made for people like myself people with a bigger cup it is absolutely incredible so i'm going to put it on for you guys to see what it's like when you're wearing this bra you don't need to wear like two bras you don't need to put anything on top like it is amazing and then they also have designs available from these type of companies where you can just wear the bra alone like the way they've designed it it just looks like i don't want to say a crop top but it's the type you know when you buy a gym set it's the leggings and then you get the bra they designed it in a way that you could wear the bra alone and you don't even have to wear a top on top of your bra um, that's the way they've designed it in some companies they even have matching sets where they have the leggings and the bra as well guys it is absolutely brilliant i wish everybody could experience this type of sports bra but it's so expensive i literally only have one I have one i would love to have a collection um, and when i purchased this i was still going to the gym and this made it so much easier like it, it made it less daunting to go to the gym because there's some machines i wouldn't want to use because it's like i'm going to be so uncomfortable my boobs are going to be flying everywhere and now i have to wear two bras some people are literally at a point where they have to wear three bras just to go to the gym and wear a top on top like the whole bra situation especially in south africa it's something i'm very passionate about 
and yeah yeah it just breaks my heart people are wearing the wrong bra sizes and there are no options in the stores and from my perspective i don't have analytics on this from my perspective most south african women have titties that be tilling we have bigger busts you know especially after childbirth a lot of black south african women women of color in south africa have larger breasts you know and then you go into mr price and it's like an f cup you know where are the k cups where are the m n o's you know um yeah 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 anyway i'm gonna put that on for you guys so you can see what it looks like all right guys so this is the panache sports bra it is absolutely amazing this is one of my favorite purchases of 2022 you can literally jump you can do whatever you want to do in this sports bra you don't need a second one i think i could have gone for a smaller band because over here it keeps moving so i think i should have gone for like a 34 so you can really just cinch in because it is on the tightest setting the straps are nice and thick but not too thick this is a high quality bra it is fantastic guys if you are going to the gym if you're going for jogs you're cycling any activity and you're wearing two bras please consider getting a bra like this um, these sports bras are absolutely amazing it's like it's molded and then you have this material on top um, i really don't know how to explain it i wish you guys could feel it I, I don't know how to properly explain it but it is absolutely amazing highly highly recommend this they have ones that are designed in a way that you can literally wear your leggings and this these leggings are from bear silhouette they're like shapewear leggings i absolutely love them but yeah you can have like a gym wear set where you can wear this alone i don't gym like that i prefer to wear a shirt but this is comfortable enough to wear alone so ladies if you're wearing two bras this is it this is really really it if you have the titties that be tiddling you know you're, you're you're jogging there or skipping rope and your boobs are just like flying out of your bra this is it this is absolutely fantastic and it's just super super comfortable so last but not least is a bra that i definitely do not recommend i think this bra is utter you know what? i don't want to say it's rubbish because some of you guys get in your feelings when i say rubbish and for me it's not swearing it's just being very direct um, but yeah for me I, I do not recommend this bra i'm embarrassed to show it to you guys but i think if i don't show it to you guys you guys won't understand my complaints so this is the curvy kate dotty balcony bra in the size 36 double g and this retails for 336.84 this is on sale okay everything i purchased was on sale okay so this is what it looks like guys how embarrassing is that so this material that they used it's waramabai. I don't know what to call it in English. I don't think it's called forming cotton balls. I don't know what it's called, but this is what it does. And they don't just fall off. Like they are, I don't know how to explain it. They are, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you're like a bra fitter, please like explain what this is because I don't have the terminology for it. But it's like the material they used, it forms these cotton balls that you can't just take off. They, 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 they mesh with the bra i don't know how else to put it okay and then i washed it once i wore this bra once and look the wire is already out guys my savage x fenty bras are the bras i wear every day i put these in the washing machine in the little wash bag i'll show it to you guys now and none of them none none of them have a wire that's popped out like the craftsmanship on this is just ridiculous like it's it's really really ridiculous and then it has three of these which i prefer for i prefer a band that really supports my body because for your bra the support for your boobs comes from the band more than the straps so the band is the most important part um, or the wings of the bra so when you have it thinner like this like i explained to you guys in my what's that bra company that people love to talk about lounge underwear it's not really a bra company lingerie company let's call it that lounge underwear they also had like um i think it was two of these two hooks or three you want it to be thicker than this to have more hooks for the support at the back um so you can really carry your boobs especially for those of us with titties that be telling we need the support we need our bras to show up more than the government to be active on a daily basis not just when we're voting you know um so yeah that bra highly do not recommend it i feel like i completely wasted my money 
lastly is the wash bag so this is the wash bag that i got from them it's a white wash bag i have not been using this because i have another wash bag from a south african company from bras and things and i have a review of bras and things which reminds me guys one of my issues with like i've gone to a bra fitter but the bra fitter isn't the one that you guys have asked me to go to so i'm a bit traumatized about this bra fitting thing i have a hygiene problem with these bra companies so i went to a bra fitter in limpopo it was an absolute disaster i hated the entire experience do not recommend them and i will not be talking about them on my channel but one of my issues was that you fit a bra at these bra fitting boutiques i've only gone to one so i don't want to generalize but i f I, I put on a bra and you're sweating and everything and you put on a bra from like these international companies because they're the ones that have the cup sizes that we need um, and if it doesn't fit you they get another bra and then the next client after you fits the same bra like i find that so disgusting like i genuinely find that so disgusting like bras for me are intimate that's why i don't like returning bras like i'm a person who does not believe in returning bras from bra companies figure out what your size is if it doesn't fit you give it to your cousin to your sister but i don't believe in returning intimates like um, swimwear bras panties it makes me very uncomfortable so the idea that somebody else fit a bra before me and now i'm fitting it and now somebody else is going to fit it i find that absolutely appalling and that's one of my main issues with like going for a bra fitting I prefer to just import the bras myself i know how to import anyone can import guys it really isn't that difficult this company was very unhelpful with clearing this order so yeah i'm just gonna say that I, I i don't know how to advise you guys about that but they were very unhelpful at some point i thought that customs was going to keep my order because they were just not responding to my emails like it was very frustrating but yeah i don't like the lack of hygiene that i've seen thus far with these bra companies that serve ladies with titties that be tiddling i said the same thing about what's this company called i said the same thing about bras and things like literally when i went into the store and you guys can check my review there were bras where i could see like were brown that people were wearing this bra and they were selling it straight like that not washed and it was just like this is so disgusting so personally i will import because i i just i don't want to like i i really just I, and i can't i i just can't okay anyway so this is the wash bag so when you're washing your bras in the washing machine um you just chuck it in here and then you wash it that way it doesn't hook to your clothes and stuff like that and you avoid damaging your expensive bras um this is really helpful but a lot of people prefer to hand wash and a lot of bra companies do tell you to hand wash um the bras that i have from savage x20 i put them in one of these i have one from bras and things that's the one i've been using and i haven't had any issues at all it's like the savage x20 bras are amazing especially if you can follow how i purchase mine then i think you'll absolutely love it so i hope today's video was helpful for you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section um and if you're really struggling with your bras just book a bra fitting appointment you don't have to buy anything most places either offer bra fittings for free or they charge you like 100 rand to 200 rand for a bra fitting so they will measure you and get your cup and sometimes they'll also just fit some bra so that you can have an experience of how they would fit on you if you actually got your right bra size and it is life-changing guys like your posture improves the way you look in clothes improves you even look like you've lost weight even though you haven't like it is incredible and i really hope that in south africa we can really really push some education um, and also make like bras of a bigger cup size accessible and more affordable for people um, it costs a lot to manufacture bras in different sizes and then import those into the country um, and also just getting somebody to custom make a bra for you also costs a lot because there are people like i had a classmate who specialized in bras like making lingerie custom one-of-a-kind lingerie um, and that also costs a lot it's it's just it's not cheap guys it, it really costs a lot so i think the great thing that everyone can do um, especially mothers go with your daughter and you know those those fathers who are single parents and you have a daughter take your daughter to a bra fitter um, have them professionally fitted it doesn't cost a lot some people offer it for free and some people just charge like 100 rand or 200 rand it is worth the investment just to have an idea of what your actual size is i am looking forward to going to i think it's lizard clifford 
I hope I'm saying that right. That's the one that a lot of you guys have asked me to go to for bra fitting. So hopefully I can get in touch with them and get permission to film my appointment. I think that could be really, really helpful and educational and just encourage you guys to also go. I personally am looking intentionally for black owned bra fitting boutiques, black owned companies that offer bra fittings. Unfortunately, um, so far it's been very difficult to find that. Um, and it's also not been a positive experience. I, I really want people who are excellent, people who, are, who take themselves seriously. And the one that I went to was utter rubbish. It, I do not recommend it at all. Um, yeah, so I look forward to going to Lizard Clifford. A lot of you guys have recommended them. If you've gone there, let me know. I'd love to hear what your experience was before I book my appointment. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I got the grace, I got the grace. Yeah. Lines and every other things are falling to place.